after that cool intro, you're probably wondering, or maybe you're not wondering, what D-Lab's up to. But wait, what's this? Ah, this will help. We're making another suitcase amp, but this time we're going to put it in this really cool vintage tweed case that we located. So let me take you through the process. This one's going to be much easier than the first one because I've already built the amp. Here we go. So here is the first suitcase amp that I did about a week or so ago. This one measures 23 by 17 and about 6 inches high. And it has the built-in Leisure Suit amp in it, right? With the Ampex speaker. This is a 6x9 speaker with an external speaker jack. This one, our new project, is about 18 by 13 by 6. So we're going to do the same thing with this one, right? So if you envision this, we're going to put that over there. But it's a much more compact design. So I've had to miniaturize things and I had to also change the configuration of the amp. It's the same amp. It's just configured different. So let me show you. So here is the insides of our beautiful 50s tweed suitcase. First step, of course, we've got to get these out of here. So we're going to take a stitch cutter and just remove the pockets, but I'm going to leave the lining because it will not contact the tubes. So there's no fear of fire, okay? Then we're going to add some supporting rods, okay? So they'll be all the way around, like so, like that, and that, right? But they're going to be up here because they are going to support the pegboard top, okay? And as you can see, I've already got all this stuff cut and ready to go. No reason to show you guys how to use a saw, but I would highly recommend, if you're going to build one of these, use this pegboard. This stuff's only about an eh, eighth inch to three sixteenths thick. And you have all these nice holes for ventilation, and it also gives you a nice bass reflex sound, which I'll show you that later on in the video. Okay? So let me show you the insides that are going in. So here's our internal workings, which we have to adjust sizes to accommodate. First off, I've got the Ampex 6x9 speaker on the original frame that was in an old reel-to-reel -reel speaker box. Okay? So we're going to use him. Here is the Leisure Suit amp module, okay? Here's your output transformer, power transformer. The reason I had to arrange them like this is so that we will have enough clearance for this guy to bolt in under the panel and allow room for the speaker. Okay, here's the amp. You see the 6AQ5 and the 12AX7 output transformer, and here's your speaker jack, right? Go down through here, you can see how she's built. Down here is that power transformer. Here's your external speaker jack. You see your power supply section. Up there is a preamp tube, output tube, controls. You follow that around. And there's that old Ampex speaker mounted up on the pegboard to do its job. Next, let's give her a test. So the suitcase has been modified, those pouches have been removed, support rails are installed, and the amp simply drops right in. Pop you in there, make sure your power cord's out of the way, boom, she's in. So now the panel's installed, mounting screws are in, she's secure, the cord goes in this nice little pouch, and she'll close right up like a suitcase. All right, test time. Got the old Tektronics Noisy 515A hooked up to the Leisure Suit amp through a little dummy load resistoroid. Got an audio generator up there you can't see. But anyway, we'll bring up the volume. You can see the sine wave. Nice and clean. Let's we'll see if she'll break up. Yep, she'll break up. Pretty cool. Remember, this is only about a 4 watt amp, but she sounds unbelievable. Let's do a uh, live test using the CD player. So here's the Leisure Suit Amp live demonstration via CD player. 
remember the CD player isn't exactly the right impedance match, but it works well. Here we go. So just to let you know, I got a guitar hooked up to it, okay? Just to let you know it works. Does the job. Yes, it's out of tune. Next. Well, there it is. A leisure suit that you don't wear, you play it. <laughs> Some more D-Lab corniness. But I think it fits the amp. You, you gotta stop laughing, okay? I got somebody back here laughing at me. You know, and, th and that's the problem with D-Lab. Everybody laughs at me, they don't take me serious. I don't get it.